Hey everyone, it's Ashley from All About That Paint. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll watch me transform this 1960s vintage Ethan Allen dresser behind me here. I used Fusion Mineral Paints. I used their stain for the top and I used their paint for the body of the piece. I ran into a little bit of trouble when it came to the hardware, so make sure you watch to the very end and see what we did to fix that situation. But other than that, it was a great flip and on to the next piece. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks, bye. So I got this piece on Nextdoor, the neighborhood app. And the first thing I did was spray it down with simple green cleaner and then wipe it down with warm water afterwards. Um, I already took the drawers out and cleaned them because I started painting them actually. So that's why they're not here um, in this picture. I sanded the whole top with an 80 grit and then went over it again with a 120 grit. Okay, so now the top is ready to stain. I used Fusion Mineral Paints Stain and Finishing Oil all in one in the natural color. I also used their applicator pads to wipe back the stain and I used their brush to apply the stain. So the top is all done. I only did one coat of the stain and I really like how it turned out. So now I'm going to move on to painting the body of the piece. So I'm going to use Fusion Mineral Paints French eggshell color to paint the body of the piece as well as a Wooster shortcut two inch brush and then I'm going to also use a 220 grit sandpaper to scuff sand the whole piece.
So I'm just giving the piece a scuff sand before I paint it. And I actually changed the color that I'm going to use. Instead of the French eggshell, I'm going to use Bellwood. It's kind of like a greenish gray color. And I thought that that would go much better with the natural wood top. Okay, so now it's time for the hardware. The fun part, yay. Okay, so these knobs I got at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. And I also got drawer pulls on Amazon. Um, as you can see, the screws do not match because I had to get longer screws because the ones that came with it were too short. So I'm just gonna spray paint them. And this is the spray paint that I used. And here's a video of how I did it. I just placed them in a cardboard box and gave them a quick spray once over, and that was it. And then, as you can see, there's the before and after picture. I also had issues with the knobs too. The screws were too long for the drawer. So my husband had to help me cut them and here is a video of how he did it. We used a little hacksaw and as you can see, it's quite a bit of work to do. So I recommend either buying knobs that fit properly or having better equipment. <laughs> Um, than this little hacksaw because it was a lot of work, but we got it done. Once we got them all cut, we had to put these little bolt caps on the back of the screws to cover the sharp edges. And here's the finished product. 
I really love how it turned out. I love the color that I chose. I'm glad I switched from the French eggshell to the bellwood green. I think it really works well with the natural wood top and I'm really excited to move on to the next flip. And I also used their paint. Oh my goodness. And that, it was um, bleh, Ethan Allen dresser into, oh, um, bleh, 